Hi everyone, I'm Michael. I'm the editor of the Royal Page here. Um, we're here hosting this Hopkins High School Student Council Candidates Forum, the first annual, we'll see, maybe that's not really my problem. Uh, we have five candidates here for president and vice president. Elections will be tomorrow for sophomores and juniors. And so the way the forum's gonna work is we have four questions for the presidential candidates and four questions for the vice presidential candidate. Um, we'll go every other, so we'll give the president and first chance to respond, and then we'll ask a separate question for the VP candidate. Um, each question will have five minutes for candidates to talk. Um, try and give each other equal time, or like at least a chance to speak, if that's possible. <laughs> I, um, I'll let you guys know when time's up, but I can give you more minutes to do. I also want to reinforce as audience members, we ask that you are watching only. There's no participating, there's no cheering, there's no comments. Uh, just be active participants. There's no audience questions. Uh, we've cultivated these uh, through the Royal Page. And again, uh, thank you for coming and showing interest in what uh, is happening. Um, my name is Erin Weiss, and I'm running for Student Council President. Next year, I want to create a better connection between students, teachers, and administration. Um, we need to build a better community that has stronger relationships to help our society grow. And we can do this through fundraisers, community activities, and the visibility of student council and administration. Um, my name is Sagit Nachmias. I'm also running for student council president. Um, similar to Aaron, I believe that there should be more transparency between student council and the student body. I really think that our primary purpose is to take what the students want and it's what they envision for their high school experience and for us to translate that to the activities that we put on. So my primary goal is to just listen to the students to see how we can most effectively make high school better for everyone here. Okay, my name is Bella Fido. Um, I'm running for vice president. I think most importantly, I just want to reach out to every single, like every different type of group um, within, student, um, within our student body. Um, I think student council is a group that should represent um, our student body effectively. Um, and I think that um, not only should we just be, because right now student council is just sort of a party planning committee. Um, and I think we need to start doing events that focus more on the needs of our students um, and more on like issues that are happening at the school. Uh, hello, I'm Sally Reed. I'm also running for vice president of student council. I think that student council should be a group that um, cultivates a sense of community and a sense of belonging within Hopkins High School. Um, I think that we make up a great council of representation, but I think that we can improve on our listening skills and our communication between the student body. So I hope to support whichever um, president is elected and be a strong voice for the student body. My name is Jackson Parker. I'm the last uh, vice president. Uh, I will try to help as best I can uh, for any presidential candidate that comes uh, to be elected. My greatest belief is that we want to create the best environment for any student that comes here. Any need, any place that they want to be, we want to help out as much as possible. We want to reach out to students, we want to create a great environment for them here in this place, and we just have to do it, I guess. Cool. So we'll get into our first question. It's for Siggy Aaron. And Jerez's question is, what is the most prominent problem in our school and how would you like to see, to see it be addressed? Um, I think that socially a problem at our school is um, our student body doesn't really feel connected. And there are a lot of students who throughout their high school career may never feel as if they're part of the community as if they have a, gr a group that they can be a part of. And I think that that's kind of where student council has maybe picked up, picked up, picked up in the past. I think that we can really work more on uniting everyone, and instead of being like three separate grades, we unite as a school. And I think that sadly, um, at West, the effects of not feeling like a community have had some tragedies this year. And I think that you know, even though it's really sad that that happened, I think that that just shows how Hopkins as a community needs to come together more. And I think student council can do more about that. I do agree with Sugeet on how unity is a big problem that we have here. Um, like I've looked around at like um, Junior Unity Day and I didn't know many people that were there. 
And I think that comes from not having enough community that was built. Um, next year, if we have things that can connect us, that'll be better. Your guys' first question is, VP is a versatile position in student council. Not only do you have to be the second hand of the president, but you also represent the school as a leader. Um, what do you plan to do more, support the president or focus on your own personal role? I think there's a delicate balance between both. Um, uh, I think by representing the school and doing your best within your role, you are supporting the president. I don't think this, like, the two are mutually exclusive. I agree with Bella. I think that there is a very happy medium between both supporting the president and being a strong voice in the school. But I think that, as Bella was saying, in voicing the opinion the opinions and the wants and needs of the school, you are hopefully, obviously, in essence, supporting the president and their beliefs. So I think by supporting the president, you are um, supporting the school and supporting the overall movement and progress of the student. As much in the same light as my other uh, peers, I believe that uh, the unity in the school. We are one cohesive group, and I believe that whatever the vice president does should reflect and should coincide with what uh, the rest of the student body needs or what the president thinks is best for the school. And I think within the role of vice president, you should discuss, like, you work very closely with the president in order to achieve that sort of unity of the school and get that voice heard. Like it, It's a team effort. The vice president and the president are a team. And I think also representing um, different parts of student council, because those are also um, members that have been elected by the student body. So working and listening to other members of student council is another way of connecting and reaching out to the student body, and then again, working closely with the president. We are very different vice diverse group of people and I believe that we can, as vice presidents, take a greater role of reaching out to students as well as our own in-student council. What, in your opinion, is one reason someone moving into our community should choose Hopkins High School over one of our neighboring schools? I think that someone should choose Hopkins High School because we're working toward working together. Like, we're working and we're constantly changing the community around us. And we're trying to figure out the best way to make our community stronger and more connected. And so if we have people that are coming to our school, then it'll be a better place because we'll have other um, ideas and other ways that we can use to help our community get better. I think that Hopkins, that people should choose Hopkins um, because, first of all, we have such a diverse student body. There are so many people here who come from so many different backgrounds and have all these different experiences. And I think that as a stepping stone towards kind of the real world, it's important to kind of learn about like all the different people who live around us. Um, and there are so many different clubs, and there's really a place for everyone to fit in. We have so many organizations that you can kind of reach out to and stuff and like all these different groups and if you feel as if um, there isn't a club that represents what you're interested in it's really easy to kind of talk to teachers and administration and get that started up the teachers here are really friendly and like really easy to talk to and um, I have never heard of a time in which like a student has had an idea of something they want to start and no teacher has supported them also I think since we have a smaller student body than some of the other big high schools around us there's more of a friendly community and I know that like joining new activities and sports and stuff um, I think that joining a team in which it's less competitive because I know in like other schools like why is that in Minnetonka they have really really competitive sports and theater programs and I think that just having something where you can be competitive but also like it's high school you're here to have fun and meet new people. Um, I think that if someone moved to the community they should choose Hopkins um, because as Sakeep is saying, the diversity of our student body and our administration is truly the best in at least the late conference. Um, I think that there's 
like the Hopkins High School is just a hubbub of ideas. And if your voice, if you feel like your voice is not heard, you will be supported by so many people that want your voice to be heard and will advocate for you. Um, and so I think that it's just a really open community and for the most part extremely supportive that I think that you can't get a lot in many high schools that are very closed off and um, more strict. And, like I don't know if this would happen at a lot of the high schools near us. So I think it's very cool that students aren't afraid to take initiative and speak for what they think is right and the changes that they want to see. I think Hopkins is just an environment that cultivates each student. Um, similar to what Sally and Sweet were saying, um, we have so many different events and activities and clubs to join for that sort of fit at like any person's interests. Um, and we, one of the things Hopkins is known most for is our diversity. And I think just our community um, is just, it's one that like, I feel everyone can fit in, belong, but, and find a place where they belong. I think the greatest part about being at Hopkins is, well, besides the student diversity, is the power we have that we can change with our voices. People come here not only for the, the great basketball team, not for only the great classes or the great things that you can do here, but the innovation that we can bring to change and help out the community around us. There have been unfortunate accidents that have happened in our school community, but to take in light to that, HHS responds, does a fishbowl to grab the opinions of every student and try to fix what has already been broken. As well as the school has tried to create uh, a new medical, I, I don't want to, don't quote me on this, a new medical facility in uh, the guidance counseling office to help out with any needs or help that a student may want. So people don't go to Hopkins just for the sports team. They go for the great student body and the education and the teachers that they can get here. Yeah, reaching back on Jackson's point, um, just like involving like cultivating with students, we we constantly are a school that wants to do better. I think that's a huge theme of student council. We want to do better. We want to do what's best for our students and provide them the best school experience. So as Hopkins as a community, we just we want um, to continue to grow 